this is a question from Donna about uh, fluorescent lighting and uh, if a person suffers from environmental sensitivities, if there's any advice I can give. Uh, fluorescent lighting is very unnatural for the body. I've written about it extensively in my book, Time is Secrets of Health and Rejuvenation. It can cause multiple problems uh, that interfere with the biological functions uh, of our brain and nervous system, as well as the immune system. Uh, there is no natural uh, fluorescent lighting in nature and it can be very confusing for the body. There are certain rays that are missing uh, that the sunlight provides and uh, a person who is constantly sitting in an office um, most of the day uh, under the influence of fluorescent light, uh, then that can uh, certainly confuse the body. It has been shown that Fluorescent lighting suppresses the immune system and uh, can have cardiovascular uh, if, you know, uh, detrimental effects and uh, can cause damage uh, to the brain and nervous system uh, because light, natural light, is a nutrient. Uh, and so once we develop nutrient deficiency, light deficiency, then uh, that can uh, you basically lead to deficiencies in the body and therefore damage uh, of the body. Um, and so I definitely recommend to avoid fl fluorescent light uh, a, a, if at all possible. Um, and if there is no chance of uh, being able to avoid that, uh, to at least you know, find ways to get out of, out in the sun uh, during breaks, uh, during the working hour, uh, or, or uh, on weekends to replenish the body's uh, nutrient uptake uh, in terms of light. Uh, there are seven uh, parts to the light as we know it, uh, even though there are other fragments to light, but there are seven colors. Uh, so when white light um, hits the retina of the eye, uh, it get bro gets broken down into seven colors, uh, including the red, green, blue, yellow, um, so you know, violet. Uh, so there, there are these colors that need to be absorbed. They actually pass into the uh, pineal gland where they're being processed and chemically encoded, and then they, they are transferred um, to all the cells in the body. And some cells need more red light, some need more blue light, uh, blue light some more green light, in order to produce the various uh, secretions like bile, uh, the green, uh, the green yellowish bile, uh, the the red blood, um, and the you know, other uh, parts of the uh, body. Um, so it's essential to uh, live of light. So we need to have proper light exposure. Uh, if you are you know, exposing uh, plants to fluorescent light on a constant basis and depriving them of natural sunlight you will not you know, achieve a, a proper healthy growth. It will uh, you become the immune system of the plant, will not be able to develop proper, properly and it becomes susceptible to insect infestation or other um, you know, problems. It will not grow as healthily as other plants uh, in the, in, you're exposed to direct sunlight can. Um, it can also interfere with the re reproductive Capabilities, uh, the spreading, uh, you know, of the the plants, you know, to other areas, and uh, it will, you know, weaken the the seed production, uh, definitely, the, you know, according to research. So I, I definitely uh, encourage you to avoid uh, fluorescent uh, light exposure. It can also increase uh, chemical sensitivities. Um, yeah, people who are, are already chemically sensitized um, and have are prone to headaches or migraines, um, they they definitely suffer from fluorescent light. Uh, that shows that there's a, a heightened sensitivity uh, yeah, when you expose yourself to fluorescent light on a day-to-day -day basis, and if you already have accumulated chemicals. Uh, or, or metals, heavy metals in the body. Um, 
always good to when you have environmental sensitivities uh, electromagnetic exposure uh, can heighten that uh, sensitivity so if you are living in a house or in an office um, where you, you have a lot of electromagnetic frequency uh, your exposure I recommend to get an ionized stone from my website uh, energy.com e-n-e-r-c-h-i.com and uh, attach one of these stones to the fuse box uh, or the electrical box uh, that uh, helps with the, the, you know, the you know, protecting you against the harmful effects of uh, from electromagnetic frequencies. The other uh, thing is obviously cleaning out the liver um, to make sure that the body can detoxify itself properly again and doesn't uh, you know doesn't get forced to accumulate toxins instead of uh, removing them. Uh, kidney cleansing is also very important. Uh, to make sure that in, in case the kidneys have accumulated toxins and uh, waste products uh, that uh, this gets uh, removed so that uh, the organs of elimination are clean and open and the body is not accumulating waste matter to a degree that uh, leads to heightened sensitivities um, and reactions like allergic reactions to substances, chemicals, metals, and other environmental pollutants. Thank you.